Okay, today is the last day of January 2021, last day of lockdown. Today we always collect our reeds. So what Neve's doing now is cutting the rushes. We'll take it from our own field because we think that's the best way to do it. I'm going to do two or three and Neve's very good at weaving them so we'll show you how you weave them and then we'll show you what we do with them afterwards. We've done this for several years and we believe it always helps our lambing. Best to have the green because they're fresher. Some we did last year still about. This is last day of January, this is the day you have to do it. Let's go and sort this out. For St Bridget's Day, which is tomorrow. We've done that for quite a few years ever since we've been up here. St Bridget is the painter's site of birth and well-being. An Irish saint she came to Alaman in 565, supposed to have died here, and Ireland. She's buried with St Patrick apparently. There are a few churches in the Alaman which she belongs to. Well, the Saint Off. But this little one is up in Moran, in the middle of a field, which we visited once or twice. It's got its railings around to protect it. Where's the big church in England in the Alaman for her, Neve? There's a one in Bry for her. Is that hers? Hey. So Neve's going to uh, weave a few of these crosses. Oh, and they're my ends. So I'm not tired. Those are your tie ends. Yeah, because you need you need the um, spareses. It all makes sense at the end. Pinning it down with the next round. Just give with your hand out like that's good. Always clipping it down with the next one. We think we're doing this in the right place with the sheep behind us. I suppose it's quite relative really. That's two which gives you four because you're doubling it over each time. So you need to do another. Oh, so you keep Come see what I'm doing. Scared. 
I'm not paying pen. I'm protecting from the sheep. So it's the same process for every. You should end up with eight, eight watsits. Eight rushes yeah. per side. I don't know if that's a rule or. If you want to make a big, great. So it looks like that. It's just basket work, really. Yeah. It's how you do the base of the basket. I know, it, I don't know. Well, the beginnings of it. Well, I suppose in the old days. They may have made a mat out of this stuff the way this is, would they? I have no idea. I don't know. Probably. I don't know. As you said, you could probably carry on as long as you wanted to, really, couldn't you? It'd be a mat, wouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. What I'm going to do when I do the next one, I'm going to do more legs and I'm going to do, do a circle around it. So That sounds fancy. Yeah, it does sound fancy. I've done one, one before. Right, so I've got eight. So you've got eight rushes to each strand, so to yeah. speak. So there's 32 rushes you've used. Because you're doubling it over, aren't you? So 16. 16. 16 whole rushes, doubled and half, doubled, or halved, or folded over. No, because if you had 16, you'd have more. It probably would be six. It'd be 16 though. Right, this is the cheeky bit. It looks a bit small that one, doesn't it? I think you're using thinner rushes this way. Be green, otherwise they won't bend. And this is the pain. In this is the difficult bit. Right, so you've got you need a spiky bit. You need to hold it up that way. No, that downward. So your thingy, your blunt bits there. Yeah. And then wind it. It needs to be really green. So you need thinner ones, really. So wind without breaking. Well, otherwise they separate into a. This is quite green. This might work. So this keeps the ends tight. Yeah, and you do four winds. So then this bit then acts like a needle. So to push it down through the if centre. Works, yeah, it should do because it should slide on itself if it doesn't double just back on itself. But then I've got it, I think. Then you pull it through. I can see what you're doing now. Because you're pulling that down tight like that, that keeps it together then, doesn't it? Yeah. So you do the whole, the four branches in the same way. Just trim this now, it looks nice and tidy. I'm actually going to keep the other one down there, it doesn't really matter. And then you chop the ends off, the four of them. One leg done and you can sort of... So you visualise now you do the four legs together.
worked them too well. Looks neat that Neve. There's more in this one, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this many traditionally, I don't know. There'll be an expert out there to tell us, I'm sure. I'm sure. Said this is St Bridges Cross, just made a few seconds ago. We found a rush, a use for rushes, which means we'll have to have a few around. And there's the finished four. We'll take one home and have three up here. Work of art. And we'll show you what we do with them afterwards. Come on then girls, come on! Come on then! This is a daily job and today, especially because it is bitter up here today again, I've got my knife now, I feel like a proper farmer. Why do you have to do that, eh? It's such a menace. Come on then! Come on then girls, come on, come on, come on then, come on, come on then. Hello Rosie. Oh these, we had two limpers the other day which Neve and I treated. Neve uses um, a thing called Dettol and uh, I think a lot of farmers should use it because my goodness does it help. We wash the fig out in Dettol first so we can see what we're doing. Tell me if we have to. Spray them with some anti-biotic spray and hopefully that does it really. Other than that they've been quite good. The small ones in here are last year's ewe lambs. Uh, most of them in lamb and to, just to one lamb which is perfect. They make good mothers in the second year when they've had the first lamb. Or well, the first lambing anyway. And there they know when they're ate a lamb. Anyway, that's the feeding taken care of. She take her crosses outside, tie it somewhere relative. This is our lambing shed so we put them here. Now we'll put one on our gate coming in. Hopefully we'll have glamming. A plenty and not too much trouble. And hopefully the rest of your lambing goes well for other people too.